No one wants to be told that they have cancer, but the earlier that it's detected, the earlier lives can be saved. And now a breakthrough cancer detection and treatment is growing out of a St. Paul lab. Fox Science Corin Hoggart joins us and shows us their groundbreaking three-dimensional approach. And the camera is connecting to the computer. Jerome Hong may be looking at the future of cancer detection and treatment. These are the images actually captured by our imaging system. You can see these are the cells that are selected to be like cancer cells, or a cancer cell candidates. And so we extract them from the blood samples. Astron Biosciences starts with a 20 milliliter sample of blood, runs it through a tiny channel on a slide, and conducts holographic imaging. The three-dimensional model is rich with information, and artificial intelligence uses it to detect those possible cancer cells. Oncologists say it can identify cancer before a patient shows up with tumors. It's an especially useful tool for people who are more inclined to end up in a cancer battle. It really allows us to constantly monitor patients. We can repeatedly sample the blood. So if today you don't have something, you may be able to check it again three months from now but I can't keep biopsying patients every three months. Astron's chief science officer, Justin Drake, says the technology can also help customize treatment for cancer patients. It can help identify specific cancer proteins, so you might avoid a highly effective but highly toxic treatment like chemotherapy. So the idea is if we can find these particular proteins that are important for driving the biology, all right, so we're looking at the function of what's going on in that tumor cell, then we can find the right therapy for the right patient. Drake says it could also help the focus for clinical studies into new treatments, making sure they're targeting the right proteins in the right cancer patients. Most of the company's leadership team is associated with the University of Minnesota, and Hong's three-dimensional work started in a lab there where he analyzed snowflakes and bacteria. Astron CEO Giant Parthasarty says the progression to this innovation wasn't always smooth. Not every day goes perfect. And there's a whole room over there of all the things that didn't work. What you're seeing here is the one thing that did. The promise of this technology goes beyond even what Elizabeth Holmes illegitimately sold at Theranos. Parthasarathy acknowledges what happened at Theranos caused a lot of people to question any groundbreaking science. But he says their scientific pursuit isn't about being rich and famous. They've all had brushes with cancer in their families, so the mission to fight back is personal. The technology should be in several scientific studies within the next six months. And then they're hoping to get FDA approval and in widespread use for cancer detection and treatment within the next couple of years. Corin Hoggard, Fox 9. Never ceases to mm. amaze me yeah. where they go with this stuff today. It's incredible, right? Yeah, and right here in St. Paul. It's great. It's pretty cool.